Hello and welcome to Iridium Rock and Metal Reviews. So, Sarah's with me today, been a long time. We're gonna do, she's with me because we're gonna do a band that she likes, Blackstone Cherry. And I got told I've got to do it. Yes, exactly. No, I've just had a shower, finished work, had a shower, and I'm in my pajamas, but you know. I haven't had time to have a shower because I've been at work all day for 12 hours, and I've, I've just got. I've been at work for nine and a half hours in a hot kitchen. Anyway. So gonna carry on? No. That? No. So, just got in. So, I knew there was a Blackstone Cherry song out yesterday. We didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, so we're going to do a reaction to it. We haven't listened to it yet, which is what a reaction is, isn't it? No cheating. There was no cheating. This is the first time well, reaction. Well, you talked to me, though. I was going to say. I could have cheat. <laughs> I didn't even know I was doing it. I know. Well, you know now. So, the song's called Again, and it's from their forthcoming album, which is Skates and Boy, it's called now, but it's out in October. I've done your research, then. I haven't done my research because I've been at work. Oh, but 12 hours. obviously we both like this band. I like more of their earlier stuff. Uh, last couple of albums I've liked, but not huge, you know, on them. I've no idea whether I like the early stuff, the late stuff. Because she's got it on like mixed up he puts in it on her the car. Stick and then I just listen to it. So. so it's called again. We will stop it a couple of times. Again. again. <laughs> Um, hopefully it's good. Okay. Here we go. It's called again Blackstone Cherry again. That's the first verse and chorus, I believe. I really, really like this. You know what I like about it is that... I like his sexy voice. <laughs> he liked his sexy voice last time. But I love it when they go, you know, the chorus, yeah. for some reason, I think it's going to be a loud chorus, but that one, the first one, was really yeah. quiet, and I really yeah. liked it how it changed there. Mm. I know you. I go on about production. Mm. And, and I don't really understand what you're talking about. Oh, you... Yeah. Uh, well... When we're talking about this, I mean, it's off a YouTube video, so it's, you know, but it does sound really good. And a lot of things that bands now suffer from is production. When they think it's a good production, but it's, I've said it before, it's like a wall of sound. You can't hear the instruments separate, but it, this really sounds really good. The guitar sounds really clear and the drums, it's thumping really thumping do you think it sounds you know it's when sometimes like when you listen to stuff that i put on it can vary from stuff from the early 80s right through and sometimes production in the early 80s really suffered and i think now it's weirdly suffering now some bands Alter bridge some of their production now i love it i love their albums but i think they've they've yeah i know they've got into this wall of sound where can I just That's stop you there? Yeah. Don't have a fucking clue what you're talking about. <laughs> but, um, I like it. I like the... Beat. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah. I like mm. the banging bit of it, and mm. and he's just got a sexy voice. Yeah, I, I like, like it that. so far. And I like it. yes, I do like the, the thumping of it. I've not got a fucking clue what you're talking about. I mean, we're like, wall of sound and production, and I'm like, yes, babe, don't know yeah, what know. you're on about. I know, it's... But, yeah. 
it's just that you can hear everything so clear and it, no, you can. it yeah. thumps straight away. If I thought even we went both went, oh, fucking hell, like, you know, it was good. I went, oh, because I didn't realise the speaker was on my arm and it sort of vibrated on my arm. But yeah, mm. no, I like it. It's good so far. So, yes. and it reminds me of their earlier stuff to me. A bit more than their last couple of albums. Well, so I don't know because I just like the stuff that you stick on my stick that you think I'm going to like. So I couldn't tell you what album it's from. Or I was just about to have a mint then and crunch it, and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here we go. Let's carry this on. Drums sound really good. Don't think they sound like. I knew the chorus would go heavy this time, rather than the quiet one. Good though. Catchy, isn't it? Now. I know exactly what you're going to say. Oh, brilliant guitar solo, loved it. I could do without the guitar solo, to be fair. To tell you the truth, the, the guitar solo wasn't my favourite bit about it. No, I could have done without the guitar solo and just carried on listening to it. It sort of disrupted it a little bit. If yeah, you get me I, I go on about good guitar solos when they fit right in with the song. That sort of disrupted it the sort song of did. a little bit. It oh, sort of did, God, yeah. No, you're God, right. You're totally right, and it had, <laughs> it, it had these. Um, it had like a. It was like this guitar solo. It was like sort of like a drum solo at the same time. It sort of took you out of the beat, didn't it? Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it distracted. It was actually my least favourite bit of the song. Yeah, and I'm mine. I'm mine. and it also the the bit building up to the solo. There was like a, I think they call it. It's called like for those people in bands, they call it like a mid late where it's like it, the song changed i don't know if you noticed it was like some long chords leading in just and it went on a bit for about 20 odd seconds before the guitar solo started and i yeah you know i thought i thought you know it don't didn't need that bit i like changes in I, music sometimes but yeah. sometimes that i think the song was so good as it was yeah i think the guitar I'm, I'm totally with you there and i can't i'm quite surprised you said it but i think the guitar solo actually distracted from the song I'm only into and, guitar solos that I think fit. Yeah, it distracted from the song because I was getting right into it and it took me away from it. Yeah, but I must admit, when it came back in, yes, then I straight away, because that chorus is so good, I think it brought me straight back into the song again. But yeah, the, the, the solo definitely didn't... I don't know. It was a bit weird. Oh, we agree on that. 
<laughs> very often. Well, it's, um, very often. <laughs> I love the chorus. It's in my head now. I can think of it now. It's really good. Really, it's a good melody there. Right, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it was catchy. It was really catchy. Good job. Good job, Blackstone Cherry. Yes. Let's hope there's lots more of that going on in the new album. Um, I want to hear some more slower songs, actually, for Blackstone yeah, Cherry. Yeah. I think that's where they really do it. So if you, you've obviously recorded the album already, but if you're listening to this, the next album, if this ain't got enough slow songs on it and those southern slow songs, make sure there's more of them, please. Oh, yeah, because they're going to listen to every word you say. You never know. Well, you don't know. This you never know. With your Queensryche following Michael you. Wilton out of Queensryche now follows me. Yeah. So there you go. All right, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. We both did. Um, if you want to subscribe, press red button, bottom right hand corner, stop rattling Sarah. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.